What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today I'll be going over everything you need to know to complete and unlock the new season of the Haunted Seal and its accompanying title, Reaper. We'll be breaking down each of the required components to make things a little easier for everyone out there and hopefully reduce the time that you have to dedicate to unlock this new season's title and seal. Before we begin, if you enjoy today's video and find it helpful, then please be sure to help support the channel below by hitting that like button along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated. To unlock the new Reaper title, you will have to complete all 10 of the associated Season of the Haunted Triumphs, the first of which is titled Severance. This will require you to complete the seasonal quest titled Bound in Sorrow which includes seven total weekly severance missions. These missions are introduced over the course of the first seven weeks of the season and will remain playable once released for those that are coming into the season late. The second triumph is called Vendor Upgrades Unlocked, a fairly self-explanatory triumph. This one requires you to unlock all of the upgrades on the Crown of Sorrow, which is located on the helm. To unlock each upgrade, you will need Figments of Darkness. These can be found through rank up rewards from the Crown of Sorrow and throughout completing the weekly steps of Bound in Sorrow. You can also find them by completing various weekly seasonal challenges. The next triumph called Tritainment will require you to defeat all three Tier 3 Nightmare Containment bosses. These guys are on a weekly rotation. This public event is located on the Derelict Leviathan, and considering the amount of blueberries that are in most of the public lobbies, you shouldn't have any issues defeating these bosses. The next triumph, called Harvester of Sorrows, requires you to bind 50 Nightmares to the Harvester after completing the Tier 3 containments. Now it costs 500 Vestige of Dread for each binding after a Tier 3 containment. So you'll want to make sure that you are completing bounties that are from the Crown of Sorrow, picking up patrols while you are on the Derelict Leviathan, and loot chests so you can ensure that you have plenty of dread for each containment. Otherwise, you're missing out on pivotal triumph progress and lucrative rewards. Malicious Haunt is the next triumph. It requires you to defeat 600 total enemies with the Season of Haunted weapons. You'll get bonus progress for defeating other Guardians with these weapons. Any of the new weapons through the Leviathan, the Crown of Sorrow, Duality Dungeon, and even the new Trials and Nightfall weapons will all count towards progress. The Reaper's Blade Triumph will require you to defeat 650 total enemies with the new Seasonal Activity weapon called the Scythe. This weapon presents itself during containments, within the Sever mission, and at random times while on the Leviathan. After defeating certain yellow bar enemies on the Leviathan, you'll have a binding to deposit into a nearby harvester, which will activate the Scythe, so you won't have to just wait on containments to get these kills. The next triumph, called Opulent Avarice, will require you to open 15 total opulent chests located within the Leviathan. You'll need opulent keys to open these chests, which are randomly rewarded from opening chests while on the Leviathan and completing Tier 3 containments. There are different opulent chests scattered throughout the three areas within the Leviathan, so you will need to match your key to the corresponding chest. The next triumph, called Shadow's Return, will require you to complete four individual triumphs, this will undoubtedly be the triumph that gives you the most frustration towards getting this all done, and it's likely the one that will take you the longest. I've put together a separate video breaking down each of these individual objectives and how you can easily complete each, so I highly suggest that you check that out. With that being said though, the four objectives are titled Fever Dream, A Guardian is a Guardian Even in a Nightmare, get to taking out their commanders and controlled burn. You can find each of these objectives as standalone triumphs in the Season of the Haunted tab 
under derelict leviathan the first called a guardian is a guardian even in a nightmare requires you to complete four mini public events at the behest of the empress and battle lines will both take place in the royal pools with the shared fears and exile ended taking place in the pleasure gardens each of these events will be signaled with a flavor text in the bottom left corner but there is no set timer for these events so you will need to hang out in these respective areas until the events begin thankfully though there are several individual triumphs that are all part of the shadows return that you'll be able to complete while hanging out in each of these areas i've had some people ask if these are on a daily or weekly or even multi-weekly rotation but no these don't have a long-term reset these usually will prompt one every 15 to 20 minutes for the given area but there are multiple events that take place in each of these areas so you won't always have that specific event that you need that's why it's imperative to keep an eye out on the flavor text that appears at the bottom left of each one of these events with that being said the second individual triumph that's within the shadows return triumph is called fever dream this like the last sub triumph has its own four individual triumphs that you'll need to complete each to get this all done so these four objectives are called sporest of beasts nightmare breached drainage and ritual under shadow drainage and ritual under shadow will both take place in the royal pools and will also receive flavor texts but unlike the many public events you'll have to go hunt these guys down ritual under shadow will be found through the back wall of the royal pools you'll need to disrupt the summoning ritual and defeat the abomination to clear this triumph drainage will be found in the back right floor hole in royal pools you'll need to defeat the scion and his band of allies after doing so make sure that you loot the chest and then turn back around to grab the bobblehead because you're going to need it for one of the other triumphs both sporest of beasts and nightmare breached will take place in the pleasure gardens you'll receive flavor text for both sword and shield related flavor text for nightmare breached and sleeping beasts text for the sporest of beasts you'll need to slip through the hole in the rock wall as you enter the pleasure gardens to locate the score nightmares of both sword and shield when they are active and for the beasts you'll need to head to the circular room in the center of pleasure gardens Kill all of the enemies and the dogs and the nightmare boss in these two areas to complete the remainder of Fever Dreams. Now while you are working on the Sporest of Beasts, you can also find the second public bobblehead of Callus located behind the huge statue above that circular room. The last two mini triumphs here, called Get to Taking Out Their Commanders One by One and Controlled Burn, Will both require you to defeat four total high value targets two of them from the royal pools and two from the pleasure gardens so at this point you should be able to see that multiple activities are going to be taking place in all of these areas so you're able to get most of these triumphs done just by hanging out in these individual areas for a decent amount of time now at first thought overall this would seem like an easy task to complete sadly it's not the case because like i said sometimes some of these things you have to wait a long time for high value targets are on random rotation along with standard no named high value targets so all four of these high value targets are going to be in the same rotation as all of the other high value targets that you would typically see nine times out of ten you're going to see one of the non-named high value targets appear in your area but you always get a flavor text in the bottom left saying that a high value target is in the area. It's imperative that when you get that flavor text that you roam your respective area to find these high value targets, but the four that you're looking for have clear and distinctive names. 
But just if it wasn't clear enough, I myself spent just a couple of hours alone in trying to get all four of these high value targets to actually appear. So hopefully the RNG gods are in your favor, but otherwise you might find yourself waiting in these areas for a decent amount of time. Once you've defeated all four high value targets though, the Shadow's Return Triumph will be completed. So onward we go to the first hidden triumph called Hear, Don't Heed. This triumph requires you to listen to all six of the Callus automations. Each severance mission contains a Callus automation. So you would need to simply locate the Callus clone in each mission and listen to his audio message. I've covered how to locate each of the currently available automations here on the channel, and I'll continue to do so for the remaining two, so be sure to check back for those. The second and final triumph to complete for Reaper title is called Number One Fan. This triumph requires you to discover all nine of the Callus bobbleheads and return each of them to the helm. This also unlocks available lore. While the first two bobbleheads are located in the public areas that we've mentioned earlier in the video, the other seven are found in the weekly sever missions, one for each mission. Discovering all nine of these bobbleheads will reward you with the Edelon Exotic Ghost Shell. As was the case for the Callus Automations, I have covered where to find each of the current seven bobbleheads in previous videos and will cover the remaining two so be sure to stay tuned to the channel for those. Once you've completed each of the associated triumphs, you will need to claim each individually before unlocking the new Reaper title. And with that, we've covered everything that you need to know about completing this new seasonal seal and title for Season of the Haunted called the Reaper. I wish you all the best and luck in getting this for yourself. Let me know in the comments below if you hit any snags along the way or have any further questions, and let us know what you're enjoying most of all from Season of the Haunted. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If so, then please be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane wishing you some happy hunting.